I'm in Hiroshima, and what you see behind me is the only building that was left standing after the atomic bomb was dropped on August 6th, 1945, the first time a nuclear bomb was ever used in the world, the first of two. So uh, yeah, it's a dark day in our uh, world's past, but uh, there it is, the only surviving building. Let's go take a closer look. And here's a better look at the only building left standing in the area from the bomb. And here's one last look on the back side of the building. Here is what the building looked like before the bombing. And here is what it looked like after. So the building that we were looking at is here, and if we turn just a little bit, we can see a bridge. It's a T-shaped bridge. And this bridge was the target for the bomb. It took a lot of walking around to find, but I finally found it. This is what they call the hypo center. This is the exact spot where the atomic bomb exploded. It was this exact spot, except it was 600 meters up in the sky. The radar on the bomb was very advanced at the time, and they knew that at a height of 600 meters, that would maximize the damage. Now this building is a hospital. It's called Shima Hospital, Shima Byoing. But this is where it was. And here's a plaque notifying that this is the exact location. This building is the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. So I just finished spending about an hour walking through the museum. And um, you know, it's certainly not a good feeling when you visit uh, places like this. I passed through uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki before and I've never, uh, never wanted to, to go through the museums because uh, I know it's just such a downer. Um, and I'm not here to make any you know, statements one way or another. There's, uh, everybody knows the histories and uh, you know, why it happened and there may be different views on the matter. But anyway, I just want to tell you one thing. The thing that surprised me the most out of walking through there was the size the amount of area that the damage caused. Because I've been walking around the city for the past couple days, so I have a pretty good idea of the size of Hiroshima. And I was shocked at how much of the city was destroyed by that one bomb. And now, atomic bombs are, according to the museum, 3,300 times stronger than they were at that time. So, you know, that's just, shocking and how much how many lives can be lost in an instant like that so anyway it's certainly not a feel-good day but uh, I think uh, if you're ever in the area it's definitely worth a visit to the Hiroshima Museum mm -hmm.